everybody, and welcome to the Duncan Showroom. My name is Malachi, and I will be filling in for Longevity John for the next little while, as this afternoon he did go into surgery, and, and I'll be filling in as he's recovering. Tonight is Dress Rehearsal Tuesday, also known as Open Mic. That is how I've known it for the past seven years. Uh, the first ones up are... Yep, Brett and Colin. <laughs> All right, give a round of applause to Brett and Colin. unplug here. Oh, sorry. Seems to be doing something when I'm touching it here. Yeah, it's grounded to the guitar. Yeah.
Just do cover songs and trying to work on a couple of our own, but that'll happen. So this is uh, I won't back down, Tom Petty. an old one, Sundown, Gordon Lightfoot. Thank you. 
like I'm winning and I'm losing again I can see Summertime. songs tonight. First time.
Thank you. Thank you. Well, our next act tonight yeah, yeah. will be Nico. I first met him at the Queens a while ago, and I was fortunate enough to play with him at the Nanaimo Blues Festival last year. Yeah, yeah, for the thirty, yeah. <laughs> One of the fellow younger people who are playing blues at the Queens, at the Queens Blues Jams on Sundays. I'm just getting the feel. There's, there's like a certain range. We've got some good shows coming up. The on the f on Thursday, we've got uh, Soki Lukash, Sophie Lukash, <laughs> who is a Montreal-based singer-songwriter and Kona player performing uh, in a trio and recently won a Canadian Folk Music Award for Global Roots Album of the Year. And um, on Friday, we have uh, Bronwyn Claire Asha doing her performance, As I Roved Out, an immersive folk experience, a yeah, music and storytelling performance that premiered at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival last year. On Saturday, we have the Clover Point Drifters, which is a bluegrass band from Victoria, and they've been playing together for 25 years. Mm -hmm. So we've got mm -hmm. some pretty good shows coming up. So come on down. That's the best way to support the Duncan Showroom. And uh, give it up for Nico. <coughs> Thank you, everybody. Usually, when I come here, I play guitar, but tonight I'm doing strictly piano. So tonight, I'm going to start you guys off with an uh, Elton John tune. This is Rocket Man. She packed her bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. Not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no. 
Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'm going to do uh, Jim Cross, Croce, I don't know how you pronounce it. Croce? No, thank you. Uh, this is Time in the Bottle. Next up, I'm going to do an original song. Uh, this is off a concept album I've been working on. It's called King of the Deep. Thank you. 
John hit the ground in a place with no sound. Just him and the floor. Thank you, Nico. Next up, we have Jody. She's been coming for a few weeks doing her ukulele. Next week, we have Row of Crows playing on Friday. That'll be a great show. They're always a great performance. We always have great shows here at the Duncan Showroom. And always streaming live. Been streaming live since before COVID. We kind of revolutionized the music industry, if you will. <laughs> uh, a good way for people watching online to support the showroom and keep us open is to donate. There is a link below if you want to donate and help us keep doing shows, keep fueling the music industry in Duncan. All right. Everybody give a round of applause for Jody. song I wrote well, not that long ago. <clears throat> I played it here a couple weeks ago. It was the first song I played ever in front of people. <laughs> and But it was a work in progress, so I've added a bridge. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs>
I'll, uh, I'll keep working on it. <laughs> they always go better at home when there's no people watching and no microphones. No witnesses, yes. I know it went better. Of course it went better. Okay, so this is a, a song I wrote this week, and I think it's called Indecision. I d honestly haven't decided. Ah. <laughs> there has to be a joke. <laughs> yeah, so, and I, I'm looking at it and going like, I don't, can, I don't even know if I can read my writing. It's really all over the place, so just bear with me and I'll, hopefully I can get it across to you. Thank you. 
So this one, this one's called 1625, 16 comma 25, like not, anyways, you'll get it. <laughs> Hopefully that'll make sense. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I'm just so nervous. Bear with me. <laughs> okay. okay.
Thank you, Jody. Next up, we have Deb Butler. <laughs> Who's excited for the 39 days of July this year? John will be fully recovered by then, and this will be the best 39 days we've ever had. <laughs> it always gets better. This year, I know a couple shows we've got. I'm going to be uh, playing in City Square on July 3rd, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to be opening for Braden Gates, who is an amazing singer-songwriter from Edmonton. It's I'm super excited for that. I do a couple of his covers. He's an amazing singer-songwriter. You should check him out. All right. Let's give a round of Thank applause you. for Deb. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. a lot of rodeo up in the north and uh, it's a funny thing about cowboys before they ride uh, whatever it is that they're going to do you see they sort of nod to the heavens and hold their hand on their heart or they you know make a cross they say a little prayer because it's such a high-risk sport, and, and maybe hockey players do that. I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, anyway, that's why I wrote this song about it. I've spent my life round ranches, rodeos and fairs, and I've noticed how the cowboys always seem to say their prayers. 
before they ride Buck and Bronx or meet that old bull stairs They strike a side deal with the boss, the one who lives upstairs Oh, they might be cleaning stalls, forking up a little hay When suddenly they'll stop and bow their heads and start to pray and when a friend gets hurt, the tears will stream right down their face. They'll ask him for a miracle or for his saving grace. And when they ride balls or mount the bucking studs and mares, it's been my observation, cowboys always say their prayers. Because they're close to nature and no life hangs by a thread They often have a word with him before they go to bed And I guess it must be working or they wouldn't waste the time Cause you know they take such chances and most of them are fun Oh, they don't show up on Sundays quite as often as they should Even though they know that sermon would probably do them good But they love wide open spaces and that's never gonna change They'll converse with Father Green Tree when they're riding on the rain And when they ride balls around the bucking studs and mares it's been my observation, cowboys always say their prayer. And when they ride bulls or mouth the bucking studs and mares, it's been my observation, cowboys always say their prayer. Most of the people coming up here today say a little prayer before they start singing, actually. <laughs> Even when they're not religious. It's like when the plane's going down, right? <laughs> Okay, so just to introduce this song. I was sick uh, for a few years, and uh, really sick. And so finally, one day, I was feeling so terrible after years of being sick, the doctor said, you know what, we're gonna just take you off all the medication and see how you're doing in a week. And that's when I wrote this song. Is this buzz from the coffee I've been drinking? Is it the moon cause it's full or the wind? Is it the peppers in the salsa I've been eating? This wonderful energy, where has it been? Oh, oh where has it been? I've been down, I've been troubled for so long. Good. This second wind, it comes on like a storm I never saw it coming, I never knew it could Oh, oh I never knew it could 
Is this bus from the coffee I've been drinking? Is it the moon because it's full for the wind? Is it the peppers and the salsa I've been Like a heat wave I was so lonesome With a low metabolism I never dreamt it'd be me That you'd come to save Baby, you're my captain And you sailed my ship in Whoa, you sailed my ship in Is this box from the coffee I've been drinking? Is it the moon because it's full? the wind as if the peppers in the salsa I've been eating this wonderful energy where has it been whoa, whoa, whoa. where has it been Thank you, Deb. Yeah. Next up, we've got Steve. Yeah. I'm really excited because next month, in May, we've got a lot of heavy hitters at the start of the month. We've got on May 3rd, we've got The Beautiful Maladies, yeah. which is an amazing Tom Waits tribute band. They are one of my favorite bands that comes along the showroom. And then the very next day, we've got the James Vickers Band coming. If you've ever been to the Queens for those Sunday blues jams, you know who he is. He's an amazing yeah. rock star. <laughs> One of my fellow children in the music industry. <laughs> One of the fellow teenagers. We've been friends for a couple years now. But let's give it up for Steve. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to try to play this song. I uh, feel like running out of here a lot of times. First down, I don't know what it is, but it's the way it is. Anyways, uh, Dave Francie. I don't know if you recognize him. I seen him at uh, the Atlantic uh, Acoustic Festival there, and then again in Burnaby. Uh, it's one of his hits. The river when the wind the wind breaks its bones He'll be king of on the rushes He'll be master of his home Thought I heard a red-winged blackbird Red-winged blackbird down my road Thought I heard a red-winged blackbird Red-winged blackbird down my road Safe as Moses in the rushes Makes his home on the Riverside. Every time I hear him singing, makes me feel spring and summer.
there singing his heart out. He'll be there singing his heart out. He'll be telling his stories true. Where he went the last last year. How he's going back there too. Thought I heard a red winged blackbird, red winged blackbird down my road. Thought I heard a red winged blackbird, red winged blackbird down my road. Thank you. So yeah, that guy, uh, his guitar player, Mark Wahlberg. Anyways, um, I just seen him in, uh, yeah, Sable in Burnaby, and uh, he had a different guitar player. So I don't feel so bad for butchering that so much. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, just won uh, their fourth Juno this year. Up against guys like James Keelhagen and, you know. I don't have too many songs in Dead Get there. Ladies at the yacht are frown. Say nothing. 
one ever held me down Long men, women on shallow graves Same old blues, just a different day Get me drinking that mansion Get me high in a grocery bill Take trouble to the high wall Home in the river and get your fill We been sniffing that cocaine Ain't nothing better when the wind cuts cold Load it to my hot leg Thank you. Probably not the best song to pick when you look outside the door, kind of deal, but, you know, happens. Just a couple of Tyler Childers tunes if you're familiar with Tyler Childers. Thank you, Steve. And next up, we have Michelle. She's been coming for a couple of years. She makes her own guitars. Very impressive. And after this, I will be heading home and I will be passing it to the very capable hands of <laughs> Dr. Ted Cadillac. I think he's got it. <laughs> I got this. I have to go home because it's a school night and I'm a little child and I need to take tests. I need to take an exam tomorrow that is very, very important to my, <laughs> very important to my double diploma because yeah. I'm in French immersion. Je dois parler le français beaucoup. <laughs> so I, I gotta I gotta get in bed early because this test is like right before school starts. And I, I like I gotta go like twenty minutes early. So that kinda sucks. <laughs> well, give it up for Michelle. And uh, let's give it up for Malachi, too. So I learned today on the internet that um, today, April 16th, is International Day of the Voice. So let's appreciate all the singers so far. <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> of our voices. So my first name is Michelle, as he says. Hi, hi. <laughs> so I've got an old uh, Civil War song in the style of Towns Van Zandt. It's called Cocaine Blues. It's not an advocacy of the thing. It's just uh, maybe a warning. song, so I guess I better give it a whirl here. It was sugar that used to give me headaches. Right. 
bright moonlight My eyes felt dry and I barely had sight The dull throb and itch is such a bitch I can't scratch it or patch it and all I can do is endure it Like a bell My face is numb My eyes don't see And the noise in my ears Is like a bumblebee Kidneys are half broken I'm gonna swallow half this bottle of ibuprofen I woke in the bright moonlight My eyes felt dry and I barely had sight Like a bell, my face is numb, my eyes don't see, and the noise in my ears is like a bumblebee. So it was a nice blue sky today, and we've got some more blue skies coming up. So in honor of that, I've got a Tom Waits song called Blue Skies.
I wanted to try to whistle, but I. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So as Malachi said, he's got an exam tomorrow. He had to leave, so I got to pick up the pieces here. Uh, but we got this. Uh, next, we got Charlie and Alec. Uh, I'm going to have to run up the stage and uh, help them out and get set up. But Charlie and Alec, come on out uh, <laughs> whenever you're ready. And then I'll be right there as soon as I put this microphone down. Oh, this is service. Whew. Thank you, Ted. Well, this is a special treat because I used to play with Charlie on the Sunshine Coast. And uh, we only met like two years ago. You're the first musician I met on the Sunshine That's Coast, right. Alec. And remember what I said? Uh, I'm a music slave. Yes, I do. <laughs> Like that, so and he sings all the high, car, high parts. <laughs> right. What do we got here? So this is the Duncan showroom. It is. This is amazing. Yeah. Everywhere you look, <laughs> feast for the eyes. We're going to start off with, uh, we do cover songs. We're going to do uh, a song that was put out by the Decemberists a few years back. And uh, it's a song called Down by the Water. <laughs> you find a note and then you stick your tongue there so you remember where it is. <laughs> Me? One, two. Sweet the ancient 
river bed See where all the follies led Down by the water Was just some toehead team feeling round for fingers to get in between. Down by the water, down by the old main drag. The season rubs me wrong. The summer swells and loves so not. Thank you for singing the high notes, Alec, but you might notice that I've been working on my high notes, too. Yeah, you hit the high <laughs> note at the end there. So I, I heard that. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't have my uh, volume up on my guitar. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, oh, it's coming yeah. across. <coughs> I would have told you if it wasn't up. <laughs> <laughs> That's All what right. she said. Okay. <laughs> what do we got next year, Alec? Uh, There's an Eagle song called I Can't Tell You Why. I believe I start the song. I you better be ready. Oh. Oh, okay. from my harmonica. Okay. All right. I think we are ready. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Same to people 
get crazy It just ain't right Your head Girl, I get lonely too You don't have to worry Just hold on tight Cause I love you Nothing wrong as far as I can see We make it hard Something makes me turn around and say it. I can't tell you why. No, baby, I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why. Thank, Thank you very you. much. This, uh, this next song needs no introduction. Crosby, Stills, and Nash playing a lot of good music for a lot of years, and uh, this is one of their songs.
much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ted. Thanks, Ted. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> they were singing in the streets. Woo! Woo. Can we do this yet? All right, who we got? Artemis, you're up next. Are you playing on a phone, Artemis? What? Yes. Okay, is it, what is it? iPhone or? Is it? No, no, oh, it's, it's just a, a headphone jack? Okay, yes. I'll be right there. Hey, I got a microphone. That makes me important, more important than you guys. Not as important as me, because I got one, too. <laughs> yeah, but not right now. You got to go all the way over there for that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do three songs tonight. Um, they all need the ox chord, so we're, we're just waiting. But there's no rush. I'm not in a hurry. Um, uh, the first song, I've, I've I was going to do a different song um, that I wrote a while ago, but I'm going to do, I changed my mind, I'm going to do a, a, a different, different song that I wrote a while ago. Um, this is a fascinating backstory, I know. Um, uh, but this is called Parade of Blackness. Um, pardon his butt. I always do that, I always like have my butt right here in the camera. <laughs> Okay. Okay. When I was young, I was struggling against the places I've been coming from. The misdirection, sweat, I crocheted it all come undone. The lessons that we taught each other stronger than the ones that they tried to stick inside of our minds. We've realized the game's been rigged from the start. It's broken all of our hearts. It's torn our families apart. It's forced us all to take part in this system of oppression. Make decisions in duress or else you'll starve to your death. There's nothing left. As we turn our forests to profits, filling billionaires' pockets with the child labor laws, they are alive to stop while we pretend to make a difference, putting ballots in boxes, participating in politics. The wealthy have convinced they shouldn't touch economics while they get our children hooked on hospital grade narcotics. Our politicians ain't the ones who are strong enough to stop this. We can hold another protest, but it won't stop the SWAT men shooting up the rubber bullets, spraying up the face. Cops ain't taking body shots or aiming. Journalists are getting black bag, activists are getting toe tag. We're living in the late stage of a surveillance state. Don't even tracker in the vaccine. It's in your fucking phone and in your smart TV and in your fucking Google Home. You paid them for the privilege to have them spy on you, to have them give a shit about the things you buy and do. And now they have the info and they control your day. They produce the shit you hear, monitor the things you say. They choose the content you consume, they choose the stuff you buy. They do it all while watching with their omnipresent eye. Ah. Okay. Okay. Spend my time, cause it's the only place that I can be without doing a climb. We turn the outside world into a place you aren't allowed to be. You can't play on the streets, cause the speed limit is like 70. I can't walk to the corner store, it's a 20 minute drive. I can't go to the park or ever be unsupervised. What happened to our childhoods? What happened to the fun? And our parents wonder why we never get some fucking sun. In the gutter, in the way, I wanna ride my 
fucking bike on a three lane road that sent me rolling by another side. I won't separate it by clean. I won't live concrete. I want to put a cafe on a residential street. The failed experiments of automotive dependency has turned our city budget into a giant Ponzi scheme as we spread out with parking lots and wide roads exponentially upwards the cost of maintenance to go to see the taxes that we make from any given plot of land. Don't make enough to offset up keep costs. You need to understand the only way to pay for maintenance is by selling something else. And the maintenance on what we sold won't pay for itself. So the pay for that, we need to be selling new developments. That's why complexity keeps popping up. All roads to cater that for us. No one cares about the future. Real actions in a year that's been the model for a while. Well, the future's fucking here. We can fix it with a little bit of rational policy. Loosen up the requirements for staying in our property. You can buck and lock the park. Have to bring the not along. Get priority passes to the motherfucking buses on the travel glide. Trains are running day and night. Stop recognizing homeless people like fucking human rights. They admit that road noise is ruining all of our mental health. And five years progressive policy pay for itself. All of history has been leading us here. Separated from community and your peers. What do you want from me? I can barely carry on. And one day you meet a girl, you know, it's a little birthmark on her shoulder, but you don't mention it. You stop sleeping and eating or whatever music you're listening to at the moment was so tied to her that in 20 years, so I want to play that song again and just for a second remember exactly how you feel right now. Music starts to sound good again. Food starts to taste good again. Before long, two of you are hanging out every other day and you can't remember the last time you felt so alive. Is this what you're meant to be doing all along or maybe you're just repeating the same dumb pattern? But God, does it feel so incredible? Maybe the whole thing is just some stupid gamble, but you don't care. You didn't care last time because right now, you're sure of it. More sure of anything ever. And anyone tells you otherwise, an idiot. And nothing can ever ruin this. And I don't care. We'll carry on through all the bullshit they have false and all of us to go through. We'll carry on towards the future, both for me and for you. We'll carry on till the axe can't take the road. And then we'll carry pickets on the block the company road. We'll carry on because it's the one thing that humanity has managed to achieve with any sort of regularity. I'll keep it on going as long as the fucking search. But how we carry forward is what's got me worrying. We can stop all the bullshit, come together as one. Hope the oligarchs quest the blood of the sun. We'll continue this shit now, same as before, and hope we survive. Yet I struggle to laugh This is, thank you um, this is one that I wrote uh, this week. Um, I don't have a name for it, but it's over a gorilla song, so that's fun. <laughs> Why did I do it? Why hide? Why lie? I didn't want to die. Was I chasing? Was I running? Was I keeping stride? I don't want to know. I don't want to think. I don't want to care. I don't want to breathe. I don't want to blink. Always in my back on the limelight. Got caught in my fly down the bar fight. And I was probably a bar to be a high. was got free and it was all right. It's been a minute and a little bit in the beginning. And I began to get in with the best of best of best of grime. And it was more like putting sediment on top of sediment on top of sediment on top of sediment. I'm worried and I keep digging lower. Devil cross dressing on both of my shoulders. Half of me's alive and while the other half is getting older. I didn't wanna stop, I wanted to start over. I used all my extra life, pick the pedals off my clover. When the distance made the clock, my pretending to be sober face down. Ass upset, I'm a potato grower. No friends, fresh man, wanna be joker. Pop my top and drop, stop and cut. Here we go, windmill, windmill, how it spins, and the sins of the world begins. Windmill, windmill, world's a dove, filled with hate and filled with love. Windmill, windmill, drive me mad, make me angry and make me sad. Windmill, windmill, don't you know, that is just.
parts of that land at the end. <laughs> when do you win? slower um this one's uh, also unlabeled i wrote this one uh last week or something um and it's over the little wayne track so turn the music up hurry out loud
Okay, that was... Okay, that was, the song was supposed to end a verse ago, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, that's it for me. All right, thanks, Artemis. And we got someone watching from Iowa tonight who randomly came in and is loving the show. Iggy, thanks for showing up. <laughs> Uh, so now, next, we got... Who's next? Oh, Michael, it's you. Okay, I got to get the amp set up for you. Uh, you ready, Michael? I'm going to come up there in a second. Thanks, everyone. We're sorry for the wait. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whew. Man glasses. 
Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to do it while I was up on the stage, but I'm here now. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, there's someone who's been coming oh. to our open mics for a while now. And, uh, yeah, he's back again. It's Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hopefully that's okay. I was uh, going to do a, a different song to start, and <clears throat> and then for some reason I just thought I want to change my mind. I wasn't sure about that uh, song for some reason. <laughs> so I was practicing it badly, and then at the last minute I thought, no, I want to do this song. I, it was one of the earlier songs I wrote, and I, I, uh, uh, I just struggled with it for years. I, and I'm still not sure if I quite have it, but <laughs> make it work. But it's a uh, well, it's a it's a song about a I don't know what you say these days, like uh, uh, you know, the, the meeting of you know uh, a potential uh, two potential romantic love interests, or uh, in other words, like a boy meets girl song. Or man meets woman, or something. And so it's called So I Met This Girl. Maybe something you'd say to your mom or something. So, oh, Bob, I met this girl today. Or, or a friend or anybody. <clears throat> So I met a girl She was mighty fine And we seemed to get along So we spent some time But she wasn't ready To settle down just yet Not for me or anyone so she said, you can guess, you can guess the rest. So I said to her, it breaks my heart to know, soon you'll be gone, and I'll be all alone.
let you go Off and on your way All the best to you There is little that I can say For I am just a common man And simple things I try to understand A loving life I try to lead But I make mistakes Just like anyone else I have my faults Just like anyone else Well, you can run around And you can hide You can travel The whole world wide And one day you just may find One day you just might see That there ain't no one else Who will love you like me who will care for you Cry like I will Who loves you Cry like I do Thank you. Keep losing my my pick. <laughs> All right, this is a uh, this is a, a kind of a ballad about a wandering uh, minstrel uh, as they uh, travel from pillar to post. Uh, all around the uh, the kingdom, and it's called. Um, well, a couple of names for it, but I, I think I'm just going to call it uh, blue. Well, it was, I, I, first I called it uh, uh, blues, Celtic funk, country folk, rock, rap, rap and reggae, <laughs> and then I thought I'd shorten it to uh, <laughs> blue Celtic funk and roll. So we might. And I'll hold up on this safe. Sore hand. <laughs> it travels across the great wasteland from sick to starving sea. Plain for whom I listen in, singing songs of love and peace. Meeting all kinds of wonderful food. Good little things. Meanwhile, the resource exported by the railroad lines. The people watch as their heroes toast to their health with fine wines.
see And all the while the public resource remains a strong investment For the stars who dine on the caviar at the taxpayers' expenses Doesn't matter of course, business expense Even on food bank line Workers compete to earn their dimes While the bosses hold the diamond two i thought you did three. Oh no oh sorry, sorry. okay yeah you got <laughs> maybe, one more maybe they were too long <laughs> you i'm got sorry one more. it was a little long <laughs> triple duty tonight so sure. <laughs> i might lose track once in a while <laughs> no 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 worries no <laughs> it's just a <clears throat> no, it's a little I guess I'll try a cover I, I tried a while ago. See if I can relax enough to do a decent job of this.
Then you stood in my doorway With nothing to say Besides some comment on the weather In case you failed to notice In case you failed to see This is my heart bleeding before you This is me down on my knees in these foolish games but tearing me apart in your thoughtless world a break in my heart you're breaking my heart You're always brilliant in the morning Smoking your cigarettes And talking over coffee Philosophies on art, Baroque moved you, you love Mozart, and you speak of your loved ones as I clumsily strum my guitar. Teach me of honest things, things that were daring, things that were clean, and things that knew what an honest dollar did. I must have gone off the track with you Excuse me, think I've mistaken you for somebody else Somebody who gave a damn Somebody more like myself In these foolish games A tale Thoughtless words are breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart. took your coat off, stood in the rain, you're always crazy like that, Thank, thank, thanks very much. Sir. Cheers. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Thanks. And Joey's up next. Joey, you still here? Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be right up there. <laughs> and uh, what else? What other news do I have? Are you playing the piano? Oh, sweet. Okay. I'll just be up here for a sec. Getting you set up for that. And yeah, thank you, Michael. Thank you, everyone else, Michelle and Steve and uh, Nico and Jody and Deb and uh, Artemis. Who am I missing? Um, and everyone who's gone so far. Pete, are you still here? Pete Mitchell, are you still here? Did you have to go back to Victoria? Huh? Oh, uh, okay. So Joey might be our last tonight. We'll see if Pete 
that uh, is still around and maybe just going to the bathroom or something. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming out and thank you especially Lisa and Malachi for helping out with uh, what we were doing here. I just got to run up to the stage and plug that piano in and uh, then we'll be good. <laughs>
Uh, this next one's a Thrice song. It's called uh, Beggars. Uh, uh, called International U Day. It's by a band called uh, No Use for a Name. Oh. 
I'm totally enamored by your life And nothing that I've tried Is as simple as this life Is without you My life is incomplete My days are absolutely great So wake me up told you from the start and I'm totally enamored by your warmth nothing that I've done has ever been for one is without you my life is incomplete my days are absolutely great so wake me Yes. Thank you, Joey. That's your first time here. Second. Second. Oh yeah, 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 dude. That was nice. I really appreciated that. Come back again anytime. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the night, then, isn't it? Uh, anyone else? Is there anyone else? Pete, you're not here? Okay, I guess that is uh, our uh, uh, open mic dress rehearsal for this Tuesday, April 16th. First night without our, our leader, Long John, and I think we did it. We, uh, we got through it with, with the help of uh, some friends. And uh, yes, thank you once again to Malachi for hosting. And Lisa, his mom, who's been like, she's been a, a, a godsend for us, for helping us with everything. She dusts everything in this place. And anyone who's been in this place, you're going to notice there's a lot to dust. <laughs> and Lisa stays on top of it. She's amazing. And she brings me food sometimes. And uh, Malachi is a treasure, local hero. And uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. Long John. All the love is sent to you. I had so many people coming here today, uh, d like sending their love, asking for for updates on where you're at and everything. So the whole community's gathered around you. We want you to keep doing what you what you do. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming out. And uh, we'll do it again next week. How about that? Oh, wait, no. 16th we're at today so next week is the 24th how many days in this month what month are we in 30 oh, okay so next week is i think for the love of words is that correct let me check my calendar quick um <laughs> no it looks like dress rehearsal next week 23rd yeah yeah 
and then uh, yeah, the thirtieth we got uh, the Eugene and Billy show, and then we have the uh, uh, Love of Words after that. So we got one more open mic this month, and then the next one is the spoken word, and we got amazing musicians coming through. Uh, this thing we got uh, so Sophie Lukash. This looks really good to me. I, I've seen her online a little bit. She got sent to us by an uh, uh, amazing Ukrainian musician that has played here before. Um, and uh, she plays the Kora. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's, it's a 20-string uh, lute-type, harp-type instrument. And she's got uh, a cello player and a bass player and some other things with her. That's going to be amazing. That's the day after tomorrow. That's on Thursday. Tomorrow we got a dark night. I uh, <laughs> I get time to catch up on things, and then yeah, we've got shows for the next number of days. Check out our schedule online. Just look up Duncan Showroom on the on the uh, the Google, and uh, yeah, thank you everyone. <laughs> I'm not good at this part. I'm I'm still trying to do sound and video and lights and things while I'm doing this, but uh, thank you everyone for coming out. Sorry that got a bit loud there, but I want everyone to know this is a band called Something Obscure. They were 17 and 18 years old in high school at Francis Kelsey here in Duncan, and they'd only ever played one show at their high school gym, and then they came here for a show where their friends were playing, and they asked if they could play a show too. So we said, yeah, next Monday, we got nothing going on. Come on in next Monday. So they came in next Monday, and we got over 100 for that show. It was standing room only to the front doors and everyone supported them and as soon as they were done I was like dude we gotta get in a recording session so we recorded a full EP a 6 or 7 song EP with them and then after that they played two more shows one at our festival and one up island where someone else had heard them and then they all graduated high school and they all moved on to other things and they are no longer a band but they're on Spotify, I believe. I think those are the tracks we recorded here. Uh, and this is Something Obscure. And they're 17-year-old kids from Duncan. There's something in the water here. They're just so good. So go take a listen to that. Thank you, everyone, once again for coming here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you day after tomorrow. Not that you can't, but it's that you